So you're sitting at home fairly asking yourself the question, why has the price of gold not gone up? When you look out that window, you see you know countries trying to blow each other up, bills, utility bills, energy prices skyrocketing, people can't afford it. You know, the political situation around the world, complete shambles, feels like the world is coming to an end. And we're taught from such a young age that you know gold is that safe haven and we all invest in these sort of times and that isn't correlating to what's happening to the price at the moment but is there some reasons behind why the price isn't on the move at the moment well yes there is and you've got to dig back into the history of things for an explanation now the first one we could address is inflation now historically even if inflation is rising gold isn't a hedge against it yes it is if there is massive increases in inflation we're talking say from 0 to 100 percent very quickly then yes we've got more problems and gold would be worth you know buying investing we see the price going up but as it is at the moment historically no gold doesn't go up when we're seeing these inflation rises at the moment the next two very similar sort of in the analysis geopolitics we've got china and the us russia ukraine whole host of stuff going on and the, the economic situation, you know, huge energy prices, you know, utility bills that we can't afford, the cost of living just skyrocketing. Now, again, it's a similar type of answer. If the world sees those events contained, which, you know, those, you know, maybe geopolitical events are looking like they are contained at the moment. And it's same with the economic situation. If it seems to be like it's been managed, again, the price of gold will not react. It's an outlier event that will create the spike and the drive for gold demand once more. So that's those three out of the way. And then we've got our fourth reason, which I'm going to throw in as a new one, cryptocurrencies. Because of that safe haven idea, everyone used to go into gold and now maybe cryptocurrency world has taken a little bit of the edge off that that demand that once was for gold move maybe moved to crypto currency and finally we have the us dollar as you've probably seen and heard the us dollar is extremely strong at the moment as the interest rates in the us have gone up the dollar has you know become more expensive and that has impacted and quelled that upward move in the price of gold so that's the fundamentals really out the way so where is the price of gold actually going well I'm going to take a look at the charts and we're going to find out now where it could be heading next a bit of sentiment first and we've got in front of you um, seasonality down the bottom and as we can see at the moment we're in a nice strong uprun and that continues really until about sort of September time and then starts to peter out. So we've got some bullishness there. Now, what I really like are the cot indicators and we've got the large commercials and large speculators, large commercials red line and the black line large speculators. Now, as this line goes up, the large commercials, um, we would expect the price to be doing the inverse and we'd also expect the large speculators because it's their job to make money and get the you know, game of trading correct to be moving downwards in correlation with the price and as we can see you know the trend has been down although we've got that current up run at the moment but still that trend is down and as you can see yes those two indicators are ticking bearishness in the price so in terms of seasonality and you know, bullish and the cot indicators are still bearish at the moment and if we then head into the longer term look at uh, the price we go back to 2017 on the weekly line chart we can see down the bottom here this first big area of price noise where there's a huge amount of volume we're looking at the gold futures here and then the price breaks up at this point here May 19 and we get this nice run up of nearly 51% and then this huge consolidation period and we can see the triangle wedge pattern being formed here and it did break out briefly 
but to actually either way on the end and has really gone nowhere and it's all been hovering around this sort of 18 100, 1850 sort of area but if you're using the rules of technical analysis we would be looking at this flagpole here and projecting it to the upside and if we do go to the upside that would take us into the mid 2000s but as we've seen fundamentally it's really not looking that great if not stagnant at the moment and we'd be looking for outlier events to get that gold price like I say jumping on upwards so at the moment pretty stagnant and we've got just some other key numbers so a call of it 1700 as support areas we can see there to the downside on that Fibonacci got to get through the mid 1850s to stand a chance of getting towards that magic 2000 number if it can so in the shorter term if you are um, looking for reversals in the market price we've got a setup on the four line break at the moment to the downside you can see here that where the reversal happens if you're really aggressive you can go in at 1780 a bit more conservative in at 1750 so some numbers to think about there then on our uh, hike and ashi daily chart what have we got well we've got signals down the bottom sort of flat neutral longer term looks like it might be trying to head a little bit bullish shorter term definitely bullish at the moment volatility picking up which is a good sign volume pretty flat headed on to the price action you can see that two standard deviation regression band you know here hasn't it been flat all the way through we've had that minor breakout around that area in sort of February March time when you know the Ukraine crisis kicked off but the price came back in using as you can see those red dashed lines as you know their institutional power zones as support resistance areas currently coming back in like I said from bullish run to the middle of the two standard deviation regression trend there so this could be a place you know around about 1800 where things sort of settle down and it decides either way it sits and watches again within this like we've seen this huge sideways moving band for so long now so if we go into the more shorter term We've got the Renko chart used five dollar block size. Again, let's have a look at the signals. Bullish on the longer term trend, bearish stochastics, bearish regression. So not looking great then. Heading on to the price, we can see the trend has been down. I've drawn on this purple trend line and just want you to take a look at how many times that's touched you know, either as support or resistance as a key price zone so to me that and um, we are virtually there at the moment you know is a key zone for me you know if it can't constantly you know consistently break above it it's on the way down again and if it goes down first stop you know about 1700 then nearly 1600 and a really bad outcome would be about 1500 if it can break upwards then what are we looking at maybe late 1800s then the 2000 mark and then just around you know the late 20 sort of 70s to 2100 sort of zone but at the moment like you said that price really is sort of going nowhere at the moment it's a, you know it's a hard one to trade both the short and the long term gold at the moment because it's just so undecided where it's going it's a mixed bag and because of that hard to trade but We've seen in the charts you know some potential ideas that you can use so with that let's go and give gold a score so for gold then i'm going to go with a neutral score overall at the moment as it sort of consolidates thinks where it's heading next around that 1800 dollar areas you can see by the high kinashi a mixed bag maybe a bit more bullish in its feel and in the top right our other indicator seasonality was bullish but the cot was bearish and we did have a four line break chart entry set up to the downside around about 1780 in the Renko chart again another mixed bag trend was more weak bearish though the signals were a bit more bullish but neutral overall and in terms of targets well due to tight stops that I've put in here and if you're feeling quite aggressive in either direction there's some good 
returns to be made 5.28 to 1 and 8.14 to 1 to the upside and 6 to 1 and 9.33 to 1 to the downside so some potential there if things can kick off but overall neutral gold has been a very disappointing market for the last few years and hasn't delivered on expectations but as we saw at the start of the video we now can sort of see why that has happened makes it hard to trade but maybe with that range in markets there's some strategies there that you can pull out to make you know money from the yellow metal now let me know in those comments below where you think gold is heading next is bullish bearish not going anywhere what do you think would love to hear your thoughts and ideas and if you've liked today's video please give us the thumbs up don't forget to hit the subscribe and bell buttons and all that's left for me to say is thanks for watching good luck with the trading and i'll see you in the next video